Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ollie's mom. Today is going to be interesting. I am actually going to work to pack because we're moving offices. They're closing down one facility since COVID started to save costs, you know, because it's a hard time right now. Um, so today my scent of the day is... Hold on. <laughs> Every time I open the drawer, my daughter always like took it as an opportunity. So my sense of the day is Lunfeline. It's a beautiful cardamom spicy cake. No, Emma, you already did. Okay, we're gonna close it, okay? Close it, Emma. Thank you. All right, so uh, that's it. That's my scent of the day. I'm not gonna bring the whole bottle with me, which I usually do because it's so expensive. I had like maybe four or five liberal spray all over my neck because it's kind of cold, so I'm wearing jacket. I'm sure this scent is gonna last throughout the day. <laughs> it's Lunfeline. It's really good. I really, really enjoy it. If you don't have it, I highly recommend you to sample it. Don't buy a full bottle because this scent could be quite difficult. Um, at summer, it turns a little bit muskier, but it's an like animalic, carnal, um, musky scent. All right. <laughs> I'll see you later. Ana Luisa, I really, really love it, you guys. Look, check that out. It's like mama. That's me. <laughs> so. I decided to get two more. <laughs> um, yep, I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> I was thinking like, I don't know, I'm just, I love necklaces. I think I'm more like a necklace person than an earrings person. I have a beautiful earrings from Ana Luisa, but the thing is that one's a little bit too heavy for daily use. So I don't use it as much. I'm just gonna be very honest with you. I'm not the kind of person that will use what I don't like, you know? Yeah, so I got two more from Ana Luisa. It's a jewelry company based in New York. The pouches are different color this time. It was a black one, but this is like a beige. Wow, interesting. Yeah, so I've done a more complete detail of what the company do, but essentially they're using recyclable material. They're a good everyday luxury company, which I love. That's totally my style. I don't like to spend a lot. I am very frugal in person. I'm actually very thoughtful of my spending. Um, and I want to look good and I want to wear something that represent me and this necklace is so me So that's why I've been wearing this non-stop. So I decided to get two more So the first one that I got is this necklace. It's a I think it's called Felicia I'm gonna put a link to what the name of the necklace is. It's just so beautiful you guys so I can add more To it. This is a beautiful dainty flower. I love it. I can't wait to wear this and the next one is... <gasps> oh my god, it's a butterfly and it's so tiny. Oh, I'm dying. I can't wait to wear this too. Yeah, so I picked this too because I have two beautiful daughters. Um, I was thinking I could wear this to layer it for myself and I could also have them wear one each, you know, because I just think that this is so beautiful. Like, this will fit them so well, their personality. <laughs> well, I actually didn't know that this uh, butterfly is going to be way smaller than the Felicia necklace. In comparison, to be honest, look at this. This butterfly is as small as the lettering of an A. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like a, as big as a font 16 on the Times News Romans. This is really, really small one, you guys. I mean, I don't know if I have anything in comparison. Oh, I have something. Hold on. Hold on. All right, so this is a pencil. This is a standard HB pencil that I found. <laughs> I'm going to use my teeth. Yeah, so that's an eraser size. So as you could see, this is like about the same size as that eraser. And this one's even smaller. Anyway, just to give you a comparison, I absolutely love this company. I wear this every day. Well, by the way, I'm actually in the parking lot heading to work because I need a pack. I happen to have the box with me, so that's why I decided to film a little bit. But yeah, I absolutely love 
this company, like I said, I love the earrings that they have. But the thing is, that one's a little bit too heavy for me for daily use. That's why I've been wearing my old one. I should get um, a smaller one from them. I absolutely love their material. I have allergy, so this company is super hypoallergenic. I don't have any scratches whatsoever. And guys, today I'm wearing Lunfaline and I literally spray it around my neck. I spray it on my necklace. I don't differentiate. To me, if <laughs> to me, if I have a product, it has to fit my lifestyle. If I have to adjust my lifestyle to have a product, a necklace with me, then it's not worth it. So I've been wearing this non-stop since I had it. I think it's been like a month or two. I don't remember. Um, I absolutely love it. And that's why I got two more. If you're interested in getting anything from this company, I have a discount code, AllisMom10. You're getting to save 10% off. So now I'm going to take you with me to work. Um, yeah, so this is going to be random. I just feel like vlogging. I don't know what this is going to be like. <laughs> oh, by the way, I put in my, the, the dainty, super duper tiny, I think that has like crystal or diamond covered little butterfly. It is so beautiful, guys. So I love it. So tiny. I love the overall look of it. Oh, I voted today, so I still have the I voted sticker. This is how I look when I go to work. Quite practical. I like to dress up quite feminine, but without being too feminine because uh, I'm an engineer, so I work with a lot of guys. Um, I don't want to be seen as too feminine, but I also want to embrace my femininity, you know? That's it. That's how it looks like. This one's almost done, and then this one's almost done as well. I put everything in the box, so yeah. I really hope that you would consider to subscribe. Um, I'm actually parked right in front of Alta. I was I went in to look for certain perfume that I want to smell. I'm trying to decide if I want to pick up a full bottle. It's really hard for me to go walk in to a store, fall in love, and actually purchase it. I'm not that kind of person. I do a lot of research and then think about it, sleep over it before I even make any purchases. That's how I am. So yeah, it was pretty cool. This is the first time I went to Ulta right after the COVID. They actually still have tester. They just have a new policy that you have to use alcohol to disinfect your hands and then use the tester, which I appreciate a lot because I heard from some of you that your local Ulta or Sephora doesn't even let you to use the tester. I get to smell four different perfumes, so I'm gonna talk about it while I have my fresh memory. So the first one is a Lip 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 Intense. Actually, when I first got the Lip Original, I wasn't so impressed with it, but it grew on me. To me, it smells like cardboard, but in a beautiful possible way. It's like vanilla cardboard. Intense is the newer one that's recently released. I actually applied both of them. The difference between them two is so minimum. A lot of the differences was upon the initial spray. I could smell a whole lot more vanilla and intense. As it dries down, it's dry downs to almost the same, like 80% the same. To be honest, um, the reason why I want to pick up Elite Pre Intense is because the bottle and the color of the juice is so beautiful. Like I want another one. But then another minimal side part of me think that you don't need it. In fact, I actually have a video that um, I used to combine my Manifesto and Leap Original. And the result is pretty good. And performance-wise, I think that combo is, is better than Leap Intense, to be honest. And Leap Original is a little bit more fresh. It's a little bit more citrusy. It's a little bit more like... It has like, like Sprite feel, you know? Alright, so the next one that I tried is La Vie et Belle en Rose. I was gonna try the Intensement, but they don't have the tester. La Vie et Belle en Rose smells just like the normal La Vie et Belle. Tone down the patchouli, tone down the proline, add a lot of rose. 
but the DNA is still there if you don't like La Vie Belle if you don't like the sweet syrupy thick skip it this is actually moving towards the Lina a little bit because of the additional rose yeah unfortunately I will not be picking up a full bottle of this because I have the Lina I have Rose's Vanille and this one I could still smell the patchouli even though it's not as much the patchouli here is not as much as the one in original but it's still there you know so the next one that I tried is Valentino Fifa Foce actually when I first sprayed it on I thought I can't smell it it's one of those perfume that's made of vanilla orange blossom and tonka so when you combine it together it actually is giving the same vibe as leap it's one of those that kind of like smells like nothingness it's a little bit cardboardy but less of a cardboard whereas leap has that lavender that makes it literally smells like a cardboard so this one smells like cardboard minus those lavender so it becomes a more toned down like cardboardy style yeah it's nice but i could barely smell it the bottle though it's so beautiful that's what makes me want to pick up fifa foce not so different from leap the original minus lavender and add a little bit of vanilla so yeah the way i explain it it sounded like it's leap intense but it's not it still have that citrus yeah so the difference is i don't smell much citrus in um actually i don't smell any citrus in leap intense whereas fifa foce still have the citrus so it's still leaning towards the leap original all right, so the last one that I tried, I really, really want to try um, Gifonchi L'Interdit, the Intense, the black bottle one that's recently out. But they don't have it. The one that I have is Gifonchi L'Interdit or the Toilet. So this one's pretty good, you guys. This one, I have no idea on the performance, but this smells literally like bubblegummy tuberose. I actually have Monsera Felfet Vanilla for bubblegummy tuberose. The difference is Felfet Vanilla is much more projecting a little bit more sweeter to be honest this one's also sweet but it's not that sweet it's more like a little bit watered down it's not as heavy as a velvet vanilla as of now i'm gonna pass this on the toilet you know this is all this mom about three hours later oh the um leap intense is so beautiful you guys it's exactly Leap and vanilla, but I could barely smell leap anymore. I think I'm a nosmic to it, to be honest. Hey guys, so I've worn this quite a bit. Um, it's been yeah, it's been six hours. I am actually very impressed with Leap Intense. I really, really enjoy it. I do want a full bottle now. It's a beautiful vanilla and orange blossom really really nice the problem with leap original is sometimes i can smell it sometimes i can but for intense i could definitely smell it for sure yeah so i am even contemplating of selling my leap original and just get an intense or i could just layer it with manifesto because that's what i'm doing in this hand when i pair my leap with manifesto i could actually smell it for longer because I'm not a Nosmic to Manifesto, whereas I'm super Nosmic to Leap. Um, sometimes it doesn't even last at all. I do really, really enjoy Leap Intense. Now I really, really want it. Now as far as Foche Fifa, it just smells like Leap Intense minus the Lavender. So it's a little bit fruitier version, less sophisticated, it's more for day to day, but it's very soft, it's very gentle. It smells just like Leap to be honest, Leap Dry Down minus Lavender. But because there's no Lavender, so it it, it seems like it's a fruitier version. La Vie et Belle and Rose, it's a pass for me as time progresses. The patchouli actually getting more prominent. Yeah, so the patchouli here is not bad. Um, La Vie et Belle patchouli I absolutely cannot take, but I could take the one in Coco Mademoiselle. So the patchouli here is down to the Coco Mademoiselle level, where it's slightly more blended. It's not too overpowering. And 
Jifanchi linter did on the toilet. I can't smell it anymore, unfortunately. It's pretty linear. It's still a bubble gummy tuberose. As time progresses, it actually loses its sweetness more. It wasn't sweet to begin with, to be honest. Yeah, so for sure, I'll pick Mancera Velvet Vanilla for bubblegum tuberose. So the one that lasts the longest is Lip Intense and La Vie Belle and Rose. The rest sits pretty close to the skin. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.